Hey, this is Wolf from Armory Terrain, and in this video I'm building a cosplay sword. Now, disclaimer with this, even though the sword is made out of foam, and you can probably get away with hitting somebody very lightly with it, it is not LARP safe. Do not build this sword and take it to LARP, you will hurt somebody. Okay. So anyway, this is for my Asterix and Obelix cosplay for the Reverse Garbage Upcycle Refashion Show. And the sword that I'm building isn't actually ever seen. It just hangs on Asterix's hip. And it's going to be a sword this shape. So that's great. I've got a shape for a sword. I can cut it out. Fantastic. But because I'm making it nice and thin, I'm only going to be using one layer of the foam that I picked up from Reverse Garbage. So I also need to cut a template like this to go onto the sword to hide the channel that I've cut into it and then a hilt template so I know what else I'm cutting for the sword. Okay, so I have some 8mm thick high density foam that I picked up from Reverse Garbage and a tent pole also from Reverse Garbage. So I've cut a channel in it and then with contact adhesive I'm using the Parafix Fast Grip which is toxic and smells bad so use lots and lots of ventilation uh, you put the contact adhesive on both sides, glue the foam on to keep the rod in place, and then it's a matter of gluing the first piece of the handle down, and then the second piece of the handle down. Then have to get my Dremel and Dremel all of this nice and smooth, curve the handle a little bit to make it more comfortable to hang on to, and also put an edge on the blade probably going to come all the way into where the yellow foam is and this will be my sword. I'll come back when it's painted and show you how to make the scabbard. Okay so I finished the sword for the cosplay competition and I think it looks okay. I mean for what it is. It's just had a couple of coats of acrylic paint with some latex mixed in and had a little bit of scrap suede wrapped around the handle. So a sword is great, but Asterix never actually uses his sword, it's only ever hung on his belt, which means I need a scabbard. Now for the scabbard I'm using some old core fluid signs that I acquired, and some old strips of balsa wood. And all I'm doing is gluing them together like this to form, you know, something that looks like a boat, but that the sword will slide into like this. So now what I have to do is cut the top to size, glue some felt into it, and then I'm going to wrap it with some blue vinyl that I picked up from Reverse Garbage, because Asterix's sword is blue. At least a scabbard. Then we'll have a couple of wraps of a darker brown leather over the top, and it will be done. So I'll jump back into this video and show you the finished product. I have here the finished sword of Asterix of Gaul. Makes me pretty happy. It's the first part of the cosplay competition that I have completely finished. So the foam of the sword, the core, the blue vinyl, and even the bit of suede that I've used all came from reverse garbage. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, you should go down. They have all sorts of interesting crafting stuff. So anyway, this is Wolf from Armory Train saying, go to reverse garbage and buy stuff and then make something.